Hey guys, Mrs. Gatch here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to um, make your very own YouTube header. It's very simple to do, but it does take um, some steps that are very important to follow because if not, you will not be able to upload it. YouTube's pretty particular about this. Before we begin, I did do a couple of things to prepare, so you might wanna do that. I um, went on to palette lover, uh, color lovers, and I actually picked out a palette that I wanted to use for my photo, um, my header. I'm gonna do my base as like a Lego header, which is gonna be a little bit different. I'm kind of excited about it. So I already chose these colors and I put them into my keynote. Also, if you're gonna want a particular font, I would suggest you download that as well. In my other video, I showed you how to download from defont.com. So just keep that in mind. Um, also, I made a folder on my desktop of all the things that I'm going to be needing. So if you know that you are going to want um, some little icons or a certain background, I would do that ahead of time because it'll really help you speed through the process. So some of the things I'm featuring is this cool little Lego director man. I'm gonna have him against a gray background. And you definitely will be needing this in your finder. So make sure you download this off of Google Classroom. I posted this already. Um, and you just go ahead and make your own copy and it has to be in finder in order to transfer it smoothly. So your channel art template for sure, but then anything else you would want. I also saved my colors just in case. So we're gonna start out in Keynote, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with you guys too. I'm gonna make a new project. So when you open up Keynote, it's gonna ask you to choose this theme. I usually choose white, it's simpler, um, but you can choose black if you want. It doesn't matter if it's standard or wide because you're going to change the size anyway. So I'm gonna select it, and here I see I get a standard header. Um, the first thing that I'm gonna do is zoom out, and you guys will understand why. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out to as small as I can because I'm going to be changing the size of my um, like landscape to be very large to match YouTube's uh, pixels, the ones that they want for the header. So I'm gonna go to where it says document. For you guys, you're still in Mavericks, it might still say settings or format or document. So just click the last one. It's gonna give you all these options and you're gonna go down to where it says slide size and you're gonna choose custom slide size. So you're gonna choose that and it's gonna give you an option. You're gonna to want to put in 2560 as the width and then 1440 as the height. Nothing more, nothing less. And as you see here, it's huge again. So I'm gonna zoom out once more. All right, so that's my first two steps. Um, first step really is change your slide size and then zoom out and you'll see why. So the first thing I need to do now is I have to put this object here. So YouTube has a very specific way of how they want their headers to be. I don't know why, but it does cause a lot of headache if you don't know have this template ahead of time. This here, this darkest area is the only place you can put your text or any kind of logos you would want to show up. The reason is, is that YouTube has, imagines that their viewers are going to watch videos on different platforms. So if I'm watching it like on Chromecast, it's gonna have this big TV and they want all the background to be filled. If I have a Thunderbolt, like a really big screen, it's gonna use Desktop Max, then your tablet, and then your phone, and your laptop. All right, so I had this in my Finder. You can't go into media and just drop it in because I don't really use my iPhoto but you can drop it in from Finder. So I know I'm gonna be using this, and this is how simple it is. You select it, make sure you still can get into Keynote, and drops it in, and it's absolutely perfect. There you go. So now I know I have the perfect size because my image fits perfectly. I'm going to send this to the back, and all you have to do is click um, Control, and then it'll give you that option, send to back. And then we have one more thing to do before we start really customizing it. Um, I like to put a box exactly where my text should be. That way I don't really get lost. So I'll delete this one here. And Apple almost has made it where it fits perfectly. But I'll just go ahead and make sure it's exactly where I want it to be. And if you want now, you can zoom in a little bit more just to see where it is. And here now is where you can start playing with your area. Um, so I'm going to... I had a downloaded a font beforehand. Everybody knows that I love Bavis. So I'm gonna make this probably white. 
um, just because it's easy. I had downloaded some Lego colors before, but I think the white is probably going to work the best. And I like it nice and centered, and I'm going to call it what I call everything, SAS Fit Pro. All right. So I'm going to do that. And then I actually have a little man that I want to drop in here. So my little director dude, if any icon that you have, I made sure that he was in a transparent background. So when he gets dropped in, um, there's no whitish back there. You can look up images on Google on a transparent background really simply. You would just go to, um, Google. I just look up Google images. And then you can decide how you want to search your stuff. Um, so here I'm gonna type in Lego man, Lego director. Oop. Okay, five could spell today. Um, and I think he should pop up, our friendly little dude. But if, to make sure it's on a transparent background, you actually would just go to search tools, color, transparent. And there's a lot of stuff you can do with the search tools, but then I can see here that he's the first thing that pops up. And there's a lot, it's like if you wanted a cool Batman, you know it's on a transparent background because when it loads, it has that kind of checkered background there. All right, so it was a little side lesson. Now here, obviously, because he's not in this black, dark, dark, dark area, I need to make sure that he fits in there. So I'm going to adjust his size so he fits perfectly. He still needs to be a little bit, there we go. And now I know that he fits wonderfully. Um, I also wanted to drop in my background, which I was some gray Lego image. I just thought it looked really cool. Um, so here, so you want to make sure that it covers as much the whole thing. It just looks better. And I'm going to send this to the back because I know what it looks like. Now, at this point, once you have your background and you have a little bit of text, you can actually just delete the picture. So you select it. And now I see what this looks like. It looks very plain. Yes, I know this. Um, so that's when you start taking the time to make this your own, all right? So if I wanted to change the colors, remember I had downloaded some before, I had chosen them, so maybe I'll do this here. Ooh, not that. Kind of match that Lego theme. I can also make this actually a lot bigger. Right now it's still, that's actually much better. Um, so I'm gonna keep it here and I'm just gonna show you how to export and upload just to get it, uh, make it pretty simple. So I have it done. If I wanted to put any other little graphics or anything, make sure you just put them in that box, all right? So I'm ready to export and upload. You're gonna have to do two things. Make sure you go to file, export to image, okay? File, export to images, nothing else. Don't do PDF. I use JPEG high quality. It just usually seems to work the best. And it'll save it really quickly. Um, I'm gonna save it in my YouTube header folder, so I'm gonna title it header. And there it is. So now I'm gonna go back into my YouTube and I'm going to change it. So to change it, you need to make sure that you go onto your YouTube channel and you select here that little pencil and it's gonna give you an option to edit your channel art. I'm gonna select edit channel art and I'm going to select a photo from my computer. So um, I can either go from Finder, I'm just gonna drop it in actually, since it's much easier. And you, uh, YouTube will upload it. When they, um, it takes about like five, 10 seconds. If it's too big, it will let you know almost too late because it will give you a preview right now, as you can see. Oh, there's my beautiful channel art. Um, that's what it'll look like on a desktop, TV, and mobile. I'll hit select and then it'll save it. If it's too big, it'll tell you, but this actually worked out quite perfectly. So now you can see what your beautiful channel art looks like. Um, it's a lot of fun. Like I said, I picked a very simple background, but if you want to pick one that really symbolizes you using shapes or other kind of little icons, I definitely, definitely recommend it. In the descriptions, I put um, some websites that I like to download my colors and fonts from, so I hope that you check them out. Thanks for joining me.